Welcome back to another I am users video. So one of the biggest questions that we get is how do we take a look at a part that has a burr on it or perhaps flash, sinkhole, something like that. Uh, and there are some tools built into the I am that allows you to do that. So I want to show you real quickly. And on this part here, we've got a very obvious burr, but I chose something that had a really large piece on it to make it easier for people to see what was going on. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to your elements. In here, you need to draw some sort of a baseline. So I'm going to draw a line down the edge of the part that I'm interested in, just to give it some sort of a reference. And hit apply, and it'll go in and attach. But you'll see it actually ignores that bird portion. And if you take a look at your points, you'll actually see that it's removing those as an error spot. Once we have that, though, the tool you want to use is your max point tool. Now, you can use it in a rectangle or circle. It depends on the part that you're looking for. If you want to find a burr on a circle, obviously you'll use this one. A component like this will use rectangle. So you want to drag down the same line that you just placed for your baseline. And the thing you need to look out for is this pink arrow. The arrow is actually depicting which direction it's going to look for that burr or sink. So if I wanted to find a sink, I'd have it come in looking towards the dark section. Since I don't, over here on the right-hand side, you can change the direction and have it scan the other direction. So now I'm going to have a look out, and I want to find the maximum location that it's going to hit up, pick up. The next thing you need to do is scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see this positional adjustment on a measurement. Turn it on, and you need to align it to that base line, the one behind here. Just click on it. You'll see it pulls up line 001. From here, we hit Apply. So it's going to go in, it'll automatically drop a point in right at that largest burr portion. And effectively, what we've told it is, I want to find the largest portion of material off of this line. So wherever we are from that line. Once you have that, go back to your basics. Just measure from a line to a point. Click here, click our point, place where we want the value. And then you can input some sort of an acceptable tolerance. So in this case, we'll say as long as it's smaller than quarter millimeter. So this is coming in fine. It's detected, coming close to our upper limit, but still within the range. As I said, you can do this for circles, you can do it for lines, you can do it for arcs. It all works the exact same. Thanks a lot!